Today, we're back with another episode of Boxes with Buckeyes. This time, we've brought back CJ Hicks, Ohio State's number one recruit in the class of 2022. Try to catch me howling at the that's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. This is Trevor Lawrence. How are we doing? This is out of this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever. Had a car trip. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day. So, All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back for another episode of Boxes with Buckeyes. This time we've got a familiar face back on the show. My guy, CJ Hicks. How CJ, you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. Good? Yes, sir. Excited to have you back here. Uh, we actually had CJ on last year. We did this. Uh, so I'm excited to kind of hear what the last year has been like for you. Uh, rip some more boxes. We were talking a little bit off camera here, but you definitely had the best box we've ever seen. Yeah. I forgot who I had. I had uh, Jackson. John, Jackson. Yep, and Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. Same box. I think I had Paris too. Maybe. Yep, yeah, you did. Yep, Paris, Williams and, uh, Paris Johnson and Court Williams. Yeah, I forgot. Same box. Yeah. Yep, so uh, you've got the hot hands. So we're going we're gonna to bring you back and test your luck here. Hear about what your first year at Ohio State was like. Expectations for this year. So I think it'll be fun. Yeah, 100%. Cool. All right, so I'll get one of these open here. You can, uh, you can start it. But... I mentioned it, right? First year at Ohio State. What, uh, when we talked originally, you and I sat down last time, you had mentioned, you know, new D coordinator. You came in same time Coach Knowles did. Um, Al Washington wasn't there. That's who recruited you originally. What was, uh, you know, what, what did you think was your biggest takeaway under Coach Knowles uh, in your first year at Ohio State? Um, what Coach Knowles helped me with is basically how to understand uh, NFL defense because, um, just talking to other guys who have transferred in and um, guys who have transferred out. I would say last year had one of the most complicated defensive schemes in the country, but it also helped us a lot. Sure. Helped, like guys like Ronnie, T Mac, all the guys who are in the league now who play defense, it helped them a lot as well. So, Cool. Cool. What, uh, what do you think? This is something I've been thinking a lot about. I know we talked a little bit earlier as well. What do you think your biggest improvement has been since you got, you know, in Ohio State, going through the old, the, the infamous body by Mariotti with Coach Mick for a year, learning under Coach Knowles, being on the field? What do you think your biggest improvement has been from when you came in last time when we saw you early in the season to right now about to start year two? Um, I feel like my biggest thing was mentally like how to break down the game, how to go through the game in your head throughout the week, um, how to practice, how to lift, take everything serious. Um, yep. Since I've been here, I've put on 23 pounds, so I'm 230 now. Wow. When I came in, I was 207, so. That's crazy, Yeah. crazy. Yeah, I know we had, you had kind of mentioned that in the first video, you had talked about like, you know, getting used to what Ohio State means, what that lifestyle is like, so it's good to hear that that's, that's the biggest improvement. All right. Remember how to do this? No. <laughs> okay. So you talked about it uh, in the first video. You had had no interaction with cards. Yeah. Right? Still no interaction? Um, not really. My brother's getting more into them. Um, Very cool. That's about it. Love to see that. Yeah. Now, your brother's also the one you gave the LeBron James rookie card to, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He still have it? I don't know. We got to check. Yeah, he has a binder full of them. Really? Yeah, so I'm going I'm to see when I get back home. That's awesome. All right, so I'll let you do the honors here. Just flip them over basically one by one. I'll actually just take them when you're done. Who we got there to start? Alex Hunley. Oh, there we go. Who is that? Alex Hunley. Nah, don't know. Where's he, where's he going? South Carolina. Mm, nah, we don't, we don't do much with them. All right, pass there. Anything better? Who's that? Khalil Mullings? Yeah. Show the camera. Eh, nope, pass. It's not uh, a Buckeye, we really much. don't care. I mean, ugh. No, definitely hard pass on that one. He goes to a school we don't really care a lot for. Yeah. Miles, who? I don't know who that is. Miles Murad. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, that's numbered out of 15. It's only 15 of those, but Washington. Move, yeah. Pass. Malachi Moore. I think he's a receiver. No, he's a DB. He's my DB? Guy. He's really? Yeah. See? Yeah. Shows how much I know. Cool guy. He's a cool guy. Who's that one? 
Malik was a cool guy. This, um, so Mari Thomas. Lineman? Uh, defensive, defensive line. lineman. Tennessee. Tennessee. A lot of SEC in here. Yeah. All right, who's that one? Roger Rosengarden. He looks like a lineman. Yeah. For sure. Line. Yeah. Definitely looks like a lineman. In committee, yeah. All right, so no Buckeye so far. Jameer Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, Bama first kid. Round, first round draft First pick. round pick. I think he went like 12th to 10. the Lions out of 10. So that's not bad. That is sick. That is absolutely filthy. I don't know if Harrison Bailey's who I want. Is he a Notre Dame guy? Uh, no. He went to Tennessee. I forgot he transferred somewhere else. So. Did he transfer? Yeah. Um, but he's from Georgia. I know that. Gotcha. But. All right, so Harrison Bailey out of five. That's pretty, uh, pretty sick patch there. So we talked about Notre Dame, and I just brought that up with Harrison Bailey. Play them this year. Where uh, in your first year, where do you think your favorite place to play was? Like, what was craziest place? Any any memory stand out from first um, year? The loudest stadium I've been in ever had to be uh, when we played Georgia. Really. My favorite stadium to play in, like away wise, is Penn State's. Really? Yeah, the crowds are really into it. Georgia's was too, but Georgia was really split down the middle, and I love that. Like Ohio State travel as well. Yeah, so. sure, sure, sure. Uh, obviously helps. All right, well, hopefully we can get a Buckeye here. All right, let's see. Now, again, I keep harping on like the first video, but I think it's cool that you've ours, you've come in a, the first time. We got you as a freshman early on in your career. Yeah. You're going into your second year now. You talked about it in the video. You, I specifically remember I watched it and you talked about like, I'm anxious, like I want to be on the field. The opportunity will be there this year for you to get on the field. There's no, like there's too, you have too much talent to not be on the field. How anxious are you to, to play football this year? Um, very anxious, you know, um, ready to play, show everybody the gift that God has given me. But, um, and then I'm gonna trust God, trust the system, trust the coaches, and have fun at the end of the day. Yep. I can't wait. I know I'm excited. Yeah. I know you're excited. I think I might be just as excited. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we get any other big hitters. Uh, well, starting off over one there, because I do not know who that is. Paul. Paul. Mm, Clemson. Mm, maybe. Who's that one? Pretty Ward. Brady Ward. We got a bunch of guys. I don't oh, know. I mean, SEC. I thought you had. I did think you had the hot hands. Yeah, I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah. What was going on? Brady Ward. Who's that one? Edrin Cooper. Don't know him. A and M. A and M. Is that Xavier Henderson? Yeah. Wide receiver. I think he went to like Iowa State, Arizona State, one of those two. I think it was uh, Florida. I think he finished somewhere else because I think when he's he in Carson. When he goes down in Florida. You know him. Uh, I don't want to pitch it to Roger. Gotcha. To Roger gotcha. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Transfer down there. Hey, that's a Florida guy. Yep. Who's that? Miles Hayden. We got two cards left. I mean, there's no Bijan. There's no Bryce. There. I mean, we got to hit something. Oh, hey, guys, man. <laughs> Musha Muhammad is it the third? Yeah. All right. Well, out of what is that? Six seven. No. Is that number seven? Uh, yeah, six to seven. Six seven. All right. And then who's Josh? Down. Is that the wide receiver from Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. Um, from on. Georgia. Yeah. Is that where he's from? Yeah. Yeah, Carolina wide receiver. All right, well, no B. John, Bryce, and Jackson. No yeah. Buckeyes even. So maybe we'll, uh, I think we're we'll just going to have to bring you back again and, and do it at another point. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll just have to bring you back and, and do another one of those down the road. Because we've just, I mean, we've got to have to redeem ourselves after that. That's yeah, just, yeah. that's not, that's not ideal. But, um, you know, I don't want to bring up sore subjects, but on the subject of not ideal, the way the season ended last year, I'm sure was not ideal. At all. At all. What are your uh, what are your your goals, your expectations for 2023? Uh, personal, one of the goals I would put out there is I want to make a name for myself. I feel like a lot of people just remember me and know who I am because of what I did in high school. Sure. And right now, that's two years ago. So, yep. um, not really worried about that. And like I said, I want to make a name for myself. Team goals, I feel like I've done a really good job this offseason being a vocal leader and just being a leader, period, um, in a weight room, pushing guys, motivating guys. And uh, obviously, we want to win a national championship. Defense, I feel like we have the best defense in the country. 
Um, we talk about it all the time. We don't want no team to score a touchdown. Hold every team that we play underneath 100 yards, everything. So motivated. The whole team's motivated. Are we ready? Yep. I can see it. I, I know we talked a little bit, but I, I, I think I saw it when you walked in that you – you look like you got some fire in your eyes, and I'm um, I'm excited to see it. You know, I've been I've been pulling you for pulling for you for a while, so I think it'll uh I think it'll be fun. Yes, sir. Ready so, for it. shout out to CJ for coming in once again. It's gonna I think it'll be fun. I think we've got to do this next year just to you know kind of track your journey and see how uh, year by year. see how it goes for you throughout the process. But really, really appreciate you you coming in and, and doing this with us once again. Sure. Thank you for having me. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, we are, uh, we're going to have CJ sign some photos here at the end. But if you would like to win a CJ photo, uh, drop a comment down below. Just let us know your favorite college football team. I'll pick a winner, and we'll send somebody a signed CJ Hicks photo. Cool. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. You heard the man. That's all I got for now, guys. Peace.